17th was the earliest to confirm it. Then you just texted? You almost gave me a heart attack. How are you? No kidding. Amy? Ma, I gotta go. I'll call you back, okay? <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? I might ask you the same question. I asked you first. My sister, she submitted a piece to the gallery. Can you uh, tell us your name and synopsis of your yeah. film? Uh, my name is Jacob Cothran, and um, the synopsis, more or less, of the film is uh, two old lovers run into each other after several years apart, and um, and they start catching up, essentially, and over time their conversation kind of evolves into a uh, altercation. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, they sort of sort through some of their differences and... What? <laughs> you. <laughs> hey. It's not like you didn't have your fair share of blunders, okay? I probably would have been more open had it not been for them, don't you think? There we go. <clears throat> what, you don't agree? Well, no, I wouldn't put it as simply as that. No, so then how would you put it? What was the inspiration behind the making of your show? Um, so I've had um, <laughs> some romantic involvements that have, uh, I don't know, have led to not the greatest of places, and so I felt like it would be good to sort of take all the things that I felt were sort of left unsaid in those encounters and put them into something so I had a place to manifest that just because it's good to, to, I don't know, be able to put that energy somewhere as opposed to just sitting on it and being bothered for the fact that you, know, you have all this cooped up energy and things to say but nothing to really pour it into, so I figured it would be good to to stick it into some form of art or another, and it's I, I, I felt several I found several different mediums to kind of put parts of myself in that regard into, and, and this is just another one of them. Yeah. I thought. I didn't feel like I had a choice. So you take away mine. You weren't going to, then yes. But I did. Did you? Was it not obvious? No! You wouldn't even tell me anything. But well, maybe, maybe I needed time. How much? For as long as it takes, but you wouldn't. Oh, I gave you plenty. It's not up to it's you. Four months, all right? I give you nothing but four months of space, and it killed me. I missed you like hell. And when I saw you again and finally got to tell you that, you took off running. That is not all of what you say. Okay, right, what's got, what else? Uh, that I loved you and, oh yeah. Right, God forbid I should ask how you were doing. That's not how the conversation ended. Well, no, because you started lying to me. No, I didn't. You weren't good, all right? You've never been good. Yet somehow that's the only word that ever seems to come falling out of your mouth if anybody ever bothers to ask, which would be fine, honest. Okay, well, it wouldn't, but if it weren't so painstakingly obvious that you're full of no shit. No one asked you what to. What the hell was I supposed to do? I don't huh? know. Give us some space, you moron. How much? For how long? As long as it takes. Why do you think your story needs to be told? Uh, so, for me, it's really about, um, I see a lot of people having this tendency based on personal encounters in my life and also just sort of, I don't know, brushing elbows with people. I, I am beginning to recognize more and more that a lot of people have this tendency to sort of give into their fears and anxieties and allow them to sort of determine the trajectory of their life for them. And um, I have, um, I'm yet to see a circumstance where that's not a recipe for disaster. And so for me, it's almost like a warning to a degree to people to not give in to those anxieties and fears and not let them define who it is that you will become because I can almost guarantee that that person isn't the person you want to end up being at the end of the day or the life that you want to end up living. And so yeah, for me, it's all about just 
rising above your fears and not allowing them to bring you to a place that you wouldn't want to be, even though it might seem in the short term like something that you would consider to be optimal. I, I think in the long term, it's definitely not the way to go. And uh, yeah, it's, it's hard, but 